Look who else is up late. <laughs> so you can't sleep either, huh? Yeah, I was just thinking about world building stuff and, you know, I just, I don't know, I have so much I want to do with it. And I just, I don't know, I just, I really want to share it with people because I legitimately think that this is some of the best stuff that I've been, I've done recently is this, so, you know. Okay, well, here, look, a little cold. You can, you can get in this blanket with me, okay? Come on. No. No, 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 in the blanket. Here we go. Oh. oh. Careful. Okay, now you're in the blanket. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I've been thinking a lot about marketing lately. I just really want to do something with... I don't know. Like, so, you know, Genshin Impact and Honkai Impacts, their marketing is like so good. I don't know if you've heard of them. They're like these sort of like Zelda Breath of the Wild games, but anime. And they've got gacha elements, so like, you know, that's a little cringe, but it's, I really like just how well the characters are marketed. Like you start out and they drop a tweet with just the design and you're like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. But you know, I got to save for like Klee, I haven't got Klee yet, and I, I've been saving for her for years, and then, and then you get around, and, um, and they drop, like, the Twitter thread with <laughs> the character's questions and answers, and then it's just like, oh, you know, like, they like dogs, and, you know, whatever, they, they have some cute, cute quotes, um, I love Ayato's quotes, Ayato's my favorite, um, but, yeah, so you see that and you're like, oh, well, maybe I'll get him, but, you know, I don't really need him. I gotta save for Klee, my little girl, um, because I've been wanting her forever, sort of thing. And then, you know, the trailer drops and it's like, what about you? And you're like, oh, dang it, I need to get that. <laughs> I guess I'm spending all my Primo gems now. Um, and I just... I don't know, I think it'd be really cool if I could recreate that feeling with stuff with Isaya. Um, I mean, you know, I just hit 200 subscribers and I just want, but I think it's largely because of conlang stuff and I don't want people to, to think I'm the girl who just does, like, that just does conlanging stuff, you know. Oh, do you want something to drink? Here, I got this bottle of water. I carry this giant bottle of water around. Because if I don't, I, uh, I forget to drink water. Um, so I just have a giant bottle of water because then, you know, then it's uh, easier. Here, you can have some. In a minute. Yeah, no, here you go. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I was saying. Oh, marketing. Um, So it's just kind of like, I want, I want people to really feel like you know, I'm telling a story here, like, these characters could, like, really be your friends, or, like, you know, I don't know, I just, I guess I just want people, I want to be able to tell a story and make these characters appeal to people in the same way that, uh, Hoyoverse just sells their characters, or, like, for their character birthdays, they, like, order a, dis a custom cake and put all this merch out for them for Honkai Impact characters, and they take a picture of it, and it's so pretty, and I'm like, oh my god, I want that for my characters. I want my characters to be loved and adored like that, but I know you don't just get that, like, you have to actually, you know, like, put in the effort and stuff, but, um, I don't know, like, that's the goal, right, is to get it so that that I, you have that kind of mastery of storytelling and that you can market it that well, and I know that marketing's kind of like a dirty word, but, you know, I don't want people to just think that I'm, oh, I remember what I was saying, I don't want people to just think that I was, I'm like, um, the conline girl, you know, because uh, I do a lot more than that, and, um, I'm honestly not really that good at conlanging, I'm just... I mean, you saw my how to conlang without linguistics video. Yeah, that's that's all of my conlang knowledge pretty much right there. Um, and even in that, I got the direct and indirect object wrong. Uh, so, you know, clearly, I don't know. I don't know anything, but, uh, you know, 
So I really hope people come to see that I do other stuff too, because, you know, there's some stuff I'm actually good at. <laughs> oh, I got a bunny recently. Her name is Hestra, and she's perfect. She is the alpha bun. Um, she is so sassy and so cute. Her cheeks are so round, but then sometimes when she sticks her neck out, she becomes a long bunny, and I just want to squeeze her all the time, but she does not want me to squeeze her. Um, but I love her so much. She is my bunny child. She's kind of litter box trained, but we had to have an, a conversation um, about where her litter box goes, involving um, where she was pooping. And so uh, now I've moved it, but she really doesn't like newspaper in it, so I have to get... Um, I, I only had newspaper because I was going to buy litter from the store, but then uh, unfortunately uh, that didn't work out because they didn't have the litter I wanted at the grocery store. Um, I didn't have any litter that was safe for her, so I had to... I'm gonna have to get to the grocery to an actual pet store at some point here, but I just haven't. But, you know, it'll happen. <sighs> well, I guess that's what's going on with me right now. Um... <sighs> oh, okay. So, I've been working on wor more world letters behind the scenes. I know I haven't posted any for a while, but I've come up with this new method of writing them. It's not going to be new to like actual writers, but it's new for me. In the past, I would write a world letter and hit send and it would just go. Uh, but now I've been decided that that actually is really restricting and to my freedom. It makes me really feel like I have to get it perfect on the first try and it's just not going to be. But in order for me to enjoy writing and actually write something and get that first try, I need to have the freedom to be able to change it. So I've started hosting like a private vlog for just my friends, my like inner circle, and they read it, and um, but it's a link so I can change the the story at any point pretty much, and that's pretty cool. Um, but it's like, oh sorry, oh. but it's like um, I can change it at any point so I don't feel pressure to get it right on the first first try, and I can move stuff around and whatnot. Um, so they're kind of getting an access to my very first draft, and then whenever I post them online, then they'll be edited and like actually good, and have like a cohesive story and stuff. Because pretty much all my best work, except for the very first arc of Thule, I don't know how I did it. Um, I will say the first arc of Thule also had um, it had the benefit of being of well, I would, not the benefit, but it on the downside, it did have a lot of repeated sort of beats where Arla Sarah would just sort of sit in a room in angst and then Rhea would come to save her. So um, that's something that I uh, definitely like can cut down, could have cut down on. But on the whole, like I think it's pretty good. It still has all the ha hallmarks and potential flaws of serialized fiction, but you know, it's still, it's got that I think it's still got a plot that moves forward constantly, and characters, and a lot of pretty well-written lines, too. Like, I go back and I read it, and I'm like, dang, that's some that's some okay dialogue right there. Um, I've been told that one of my weakest points is dialogue and character voicing. Uh, a lot of my friends say that my characters all sound the same and stuff, and it all sounds like me. And I don't really know how to fix that other than to try to, you know, have the characters all sound like me, but they have different motivations for me, and, um, you know, even when I go out of my way to, like, come up with separate turns of phrases or whatever, then my friends just are like, why is she talking weird? That's weird. It doesn't sound natural, and I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> Writing's rough, but, I don't know, I've found a method that at least makes it enjoyable for me, and, you know, I'm not really charging money for it or anything, so it's not like people are gonna be like, oh, how dare you, like, you know, how dare this not be written professionally? Because I'm not a professional. I'm, gonna, I'm not getting paid to write this. I do get paid to write, though, but not, not this right now. Um, so. Yeah, well, I... Oh, um, I'm thinking, so, I got this idea right now. It's still a kernel, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Um, that, uh, this December, I'm gonna host what I'm calling, tentatively right now, Iseo Week. And this is part of my whole marketing and YouTube thing. Uh, and I want to release a video, I want to release four videos over the course of this week, and, um, 
just because December is such a good time for, uh, what do you call it, for giving, um, I've totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, it's a really good time for, um, trying to get people's attention and things, uh, especially because, you know, kids are out of school and people are on vacation and stuff, so, um, I want to give, so I want to just kind of use it as a time to celebrate Visaya, and I think this will be like my fifth year since I've, mm, since I started writing on it, so, you know, that's pretty exciting. Uh, obviously not the fifth year since it's been, like, publicly available online, but, you know, um, so my plan is to have, like, these four videos. Uh, one of them is gonna be about food, one of them is gonna be about, um, all the countries, one of them is gonna just be me gushing about all my characters, and then, what's the last one? Well, the last one is, um, is gonna be a music video. I actually got this composer friend of mine, because, you know, I went to game school. Uh, I went, mm, or I went to a game design school, so I met a lot of people, and, uh, I got this one composer friend who I hired to, um, he's real cool. He has, uh, these, he has, like, a background in world history and, like, African drumming and, um, you know, like, world music history, and so he worked to develop, um, the, like, soundscape of my, of my, all my country's music, and I am, I've tried to get into music composing so many different times. I, I have 10 years of piano background, so you'd think that I'm like, I would know how to do this, but I don't. I knew how to, I knew how to memorize how to play keys, and that's about it. So that's kind of funny, but it's, it's kind of a paradox, but yeah, no, so he's, um, so I got him to compose some of my music. I paid him, obviously, um, you should pay your artists, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so he kind of composed a soundscape and wrote the history, or at least worked on the history of the music with me, and I really want to make, like, a YouTube video talking about all of this work that he's done with it, as well as, um, you know, play you some of the music that he actually composed, as well as throw in some of the other music I had from Little Bird Maiden, and talk about that, the creation of that, um, as well as the, like, three songs I've somehow managed to compose over the course of my life. I think that'd be, uh, pretty neat. Oh, I hear, I hear tingling. That's, that's my daughter, Hestra. Uh, my bunny daughter, Hestra, is, is, um, moving around. Which is, you know, pretty normal for her since it's, like, forever in the morning. <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, she's digging up the carpet. Anyway, oh, are you getting tired? <laughs> Is it getting late for you now? Alright, well, um, go back to sleep. <laughs> and, uh, thanks so much for, uh, sticking around, hanging out with me. I always appreciate that. Um, I hope you're really excited to see where, what's happening with the YouTube channel in the future, because it's gonna be cool. Um, it's definitely not just gonna be conlanging, it's gonna be world building and characters and fashion. I gotta just admit that I would love to just be a fashion channel, um, but only for fantasy fashion. Like, I want to do, like, fantasy capsule wardrobes or characters, or is this fantasy clothing practical in real life sort of stuff. I think that would be so cool. <sighs> Alright, cool. Get, get out of the blanket then. Go to bed. I'll take it. Oh man, this is warm. Oh shit, I almost knocked over the water. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> and I hope that you are doing very, very, very well.